I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. This is another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I greet you in the name of Jesus on this wonderful day. This is indeed the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. My dear friend, I've got a message for you that you need to hear. It's a message that will help you in your journey on the upward call in Christ. You see, it's so important that we get rest in season. It is so important that we focus, but also apart from being focused and also apart from putting in the effort, we need to get sufficient rest. And that's why today I'll be sharing with you on the importance of rest. Now I want to show you from the Bible, my dear friend, even God himself got rest. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2 from verse 2 to verse 3, it says, And on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. It is so important that we also follow in his footsteps. We need to have at least one day of rest. You know, sometimes when we are driven and we're motivated, the temptation is to just keep on going and going and going. And every time you put down your head to rest, you think, but in this time I can make some more progress. And that is something that can set you back. I want to show you that even Jesus encouraged his disciples to rest. The Bible says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6 from verse 31 to verse 32, it says, And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a desolate place and rest a while, for many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat, and they went away in a boat to a desolate place by themselves. So even Jesus encouraged his disciples to rest. My dear friend, right now you might be at a point in your life where you are pursuing that purpose and destiny, and you're on the journey towards the upward call in Christ, and God is saying you need to get some rest. Perhaps you've been going hard for a long time, You've been pushing as hard as you can, knocking out those goals and staying on track. But it's also important that you get rest. It's important that you get a good night's rest and you're recovered and energized in order to do the work that you need. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 127 verse 2, it says, It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Now, this is a bit of a complicated scripture, but if we break it down, we understand what it's saying. It says, it is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest. So you see, my dear friend, when we put ourselves on that path where we are just working, working, working and not resting, we put ourselves in a place where we are working in vain. We put ourselves in a place where we're eating of anxious toil because really the root cause behind why you're not getting rest and you're just pushing and pushing is you're anxious. You're anxious that things might happen and things might not go the right way. But it goes on and it says, for he gives to his beloved sleep. It is so important that you get rest. It is so important that you allow your physical body to recover. I've known people who've gotten into trouble. I've known people who've gotten sick because they didn't get enough rest. I've known people who've ended up in the ICU because they didn't get enough rest. They were just working and working. They would sleep very little and work as much as they can. And they were driven and they would push as hard as they can. And ultimately it ended up with them being set back because they got sick and they ended up in ICU. So it's so important to rest. Now, finally, I want to end off by reading from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 11 from verse 28 to verse 30. This is such a powerful passage of scripture and uh, you'll see why as I read it. It says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, 
all who are laboring and you have such a burden on you. You're trying and trying and trying and you don't know what to do. You have such a burden on you and I will give you rest. So when you come to Christ, He will give you rest and He encourages you to rest. My dear friend, in all that you do, get enough rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God's yoke is easy and His burden is light. My dear friend, today I want to pray for you that you'll get enough rest and that you'll be able to make it through all the trials and all the situations and problems that you need to solve because you'll be well rested and your mind will be sharp and focused on what God has called you to do. So in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. Take your cell phone or device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and He'll change your life forever. So in saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, we just praise You. We thank You for another day that You've given us, even today. We give You praise and thank You that it is a brand new day. It is another day that we can live to the fullest, both myself and my dear friend. Father, as my dear friend has taken note of this message and my dear friend gets enough rest, bless my dear friend mightily and receive all the praise, receive all the glory, receive all the honor, even as you do mighty things in my dear friend's life. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. And I know like I know as we pray today, God is going to bless you. So in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Lift up your hands and say this. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and help me to rest. Give me rest so that I can be focused and I can live well and I can be healthy. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Right now, knowing that distance and time is not a barrier, wherever my dear friend is and whenever my dear friend will watch this video, give my dear friend rest. Give my dear friend the grace to be able to pace themselves. And Lord, be my dear friend's pacemaker. Lead my dear friend in the time that they should work and in the time that they should rest. Give my dear friend sufficient rest for their soul and sufficient rest so that my dear friend will make it out and my dear friend will come out shining and in glory, by your grace and by your mercy. Father, if my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, a sign, or a wonder, do it today, Father, and do it for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this and I thank you for it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I bless you. I bless your family members. I bless all around you and even the fruit of your hands, the fruit of your labor. May you be blessed to succeed. May you increase and not decrease. May doors of blessing open for you and may God shut every door that the devil is using to rob you. May you go up and not down. May you succeed and may you make progress. Mighty progress in Jesus' mighty name. Until tomorrow, for myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you, my dear friend, and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.